Well, good evening, everyone. I was just preparing myself for bed, and I got curious, wondering what my friends do to prepare themselves for bed. So I'm gonna share with you my bedtime routine. Um, and I would love it if you shared yours with me as well. How do you prepare for bed? So I have already brushed my teeth. I have washed my face. I have cleaned the cat litter, made sure the cats have enough food to get them through the night. And so all, oh, I've got all my beautiful penguin pajamas, which are so cozy. I love them in the winter time. And I have turned down my bed and there's uh, Sebastian waiting on my pillow to be snuggled with. And um, so all I have left to do is to say my prayers and... I think oh there is one other thing that I need to do so I'm just gonna have to go into the other room to do this though all right so we're going into my bathroom Oops. so every night before we go to bed we put this little night light here like this watch what happens So we do that, it gives us just enough light so that when we need to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, we don't need to turn on the bright light and it gives just enough light so that we can see where the toilet is. And that way we don't have any accidents. So it's an important part of preparing for bed and all of this gets me ready so I know I can climb into bed and have a good night's sleep so I can be prepared for another day tomorrow. So that's what I do. We all have to prepare for different things that we do during the day, during the week, going to school, going to work, um, having meals together. So um, what are some things that you can think of that you need to prepare for, that you need to get ready for? Well, Advent is a time of preparation as well. It's a time for us to prepare to celebrate the birth of Jesus. So there's lots of things that we can do to prepare. We can light our Advent candles. We can um, do reflections and meditations. So many of you will have received the faith kit that came with some questions to talk about with your families and some prayers and other ideas to help prepare for the birth of Jesus. And what else can we do? Do you have any ideas for how to prepare for Christmas to celebrate the birth of Jesus? And you know, actually, preparing for Jesus doesn't just happen in December. It's a year-round activity. There are so many things that we can do all year to prepare our hearts to make room for Jesus. I have some thoughts about what we can do. In fact, Jesus himself has told us some of the things that we can do. And I know that I've talked about this before, but I think it's worth saying again that Jesus tells us that when we are being kind, when we are loving our neighbors, um, strangers, uh, when we are doing what we can to make this world a more loving, a safer, a kinder place to be, we are making room for Jesus. Jesus said that whenever we are feeding the hungry, when we are in um, being welcoming of the stranger, when we're giving water to someone who is thirsty, whenever we are um, sharing God's love with someone else, it's like we are doing it for Jesus. So I would love it if during this Advent time together we can be thinking about how we prepare, how we prepare for Jesus now and how we can continue to prepare for Jesus even beyond Christmas. And if you wanted to share those ideas, if you could Make a comment in the comment section of this video to tell me what you are doing. Maybe you can tell me some family traditions you have to prepare for Christmas. 
And then what are some things that you can start to think about that you can be doing beyond Christmas to prepare? How's that sound? And I'd also love to hear about your bedtime ritual. And if you wanted to post a picture of your snuggle stuffy, I'd love to see that as well. So I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a great sleep, whatever time of the day it is that you are watching this. And know that even though I'm not with you, I am thinking about you all the time and offering my prayers for you. So I think I'll pray for you tonight before I go to bed. For all of my friends from McClure United Church, may you have a blessed day.